An Albuquerque hotel is now one location being considered for a new homeless shelter. Action 7 News anchor Shelby Cashman is near the Big Eye with what city councilors have to say about it. You've probably seen this Crown Plaza. It really sticks out as you're driving down the Big Eye over the skyline and it's home to the steakhouse, the Ranchers Club. Well, turns out it is for sale along with the Fairfield Inn next door and it's one of the options the mayor is considering for a new homeless shelter. 450 rooms, more than 26,000 square feet of meeting and event space, built in kitchens. This is how the combo of the Crown Plaza and the Fairfield Inn off the Big Eye is being advertised online. We reached out to the brokerage firm listed online and they would not confirm the price to us, but did tell our partners at the journal it was asking 16 million. Mayor Tim Keller's office confirms it has officially been added to its list of potential locations for the new homeless shelter. Here he is on our partner KKOB Radio's morning show. This one has some appeal because it's a building that's already there, mm -hmm. uh, but the cost is much, much higher than any other option. City Councilor Pat Davis agrees that the cost could be prohibitive, especially having to turn over individual rooms. It's going to be way too expensive. Uh, to operate down the road, even if we could afford to buy it. He also says this is meant to be an emergency shelter, not a long term solution. We shouldn't be encouraging folks to stay in one place for very long. We want to get them into the supportive housing in the community. Davis says it may be cheaper to build something from scratch. Multiple areas of vacant land like UNM's Lomas and I-25 and I-40 and 2nd Street are also being considered. It might be cheaper to create something new that's designed specifically for this. Taxpayers approved 14 million for the new center, but the state legislature declined to give the mayor the additional 14 million he asked for. We look at it over the arc of two sessions for this one, so I'm hoping next year we'll be able to get that the rest of that money. So next steps here, the mayor is going to present all the options at a city council meeting in March, and then there's going to be a huge public comment period, but they hope to have something at least started by summer. In Albuquerque, Shelby Cashman, KOAT Action 7 News.